Prepare to be astonished! Welcome everyone, I am the NES Ninja and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to clean out your old NES games and make them work just like new. So I hope you guys enjoy this amazing video. So in this video I'm going to be cleaning out Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES. This game does not work apparently, but I'm going to try to fix it so it will work. So uh, yeah, so basically what you need is game, which is this right here. You need some Q-tips or like any like cotton swab thing or even you can even use a cotton ball. Then you're going to need 70% isopropyl alcohol. Um, it doesn't matter which kind, but it just needs to be 70%. Next, you're going to need this special 3.8 millimeter uh, screwdriver thing so you can open up your games. Most games you cannot open up. Most uh, NES games have this weird screw that you're going to need this 3.8 millimeter uh, screw drill thing to open up. Most games um, usually just have this weird screw thing, and then some games just have a normal screwdriver tip. But I'd recommend you get one of these because most NES games you're, you're going to need that. You're going to need this to open up most NES games. And then last but not least, you just need a pink pearl eraser, which is kind of weird, but it works really well. Okay, so first we're going to have to open up the NES game. Mo I think most NES games you have to open up from the back. I'm pretty sure that every single NES game you have to open up from the back. So I'm going to open it up right now. So I got my 3.8 millimeter uh, drill or game bit or whatever, um, and I'm gonna open up the NES game so we can clean it. So here it is, right here. Looks pretty cool. That's a little like uh, yeah, it's focused in. Okay, so I opened up the NES game, and you're just going to want to put this to the side, like, just, like, right there. And don't lose the screws, because that will be bad. Okay, so you can see the circuit-like thing. That's the actual game. And so we have to clean this part right here, these little golden, like, uh, I don't know what they are. They're, like, prongs or whatever, but you have to clean those. It can make the game work like it's brand new with my method. It works on almost every single game, and if you try it, it's probably going to make your game work. This game is already broken, though. It's not never going to be fixed because there's a broken thing on the actual, like, there's a bro, there's one of these repeaters. One of the repeaters is broken. Now you're going to want to grab your Q-tip or cotton swab, and then you're going to want to grab your alcohol, which I have right here. It's 70% isopropyl. So you're going to want to open up the cap, put, insert the tooth, or not the toothpick, insert the Q-tip right in the little hole, right there. And then you're going to want to tip the little isopropyl thing. You're going to want to tip it so you can get some uh, alcohol on the Q-tip. That seems good. So then now it, the Q-tip's wet with the alcohol. Then, let me move this out of the way. Then you're going to want to take the game, and you're going to want to rub the alcohol on this little golden part right here. And you're going to want to rub it for like, I don't know, a minute. And you can see all this stuff that's coming off on the Q-tip. It's getting pretty dirty. I've tried cleaning this game many times, and it still doesn't work. It's already broken, but... I'm going to try to see if I can fix it one more time. I'm pretty sure one of the repeaters is missing though, because I'm missing one of the repeaters, and I don't think the game will work. It just crashes. So you're going to want to do this one side until you uh, get all the grime off of it. Then you're going to want to do the other side, which I will do now, right now. You're going to want to do the other side, which I will do right now. Let me just get... You're going to want to flip your little Q-tip and use the other side for the other side. And you're going to want to clean the other side. Okay, and the last step is you need to grab another Q-tip and then wet it like you have to do with the alcohol. And then you're going to want to do this right here, this like thin side, this one thin little side that you can see. You're going to want to put the Q-tip on it and like make it a little like that. Like in, you're going to want to insert it. That's the word I was looking for. And then you're going to want to scrape up and down it. Because there's a lot of uh, grime and dirt that gets stuck in there, too. So after you use the alcohol, just let it dry for like a couple minutes or you can dry it off yourself. Then you're going to want to grab your pink eraser right here. And you're going to want to gently use the side, this like not the hard side, not that side, but like the very soft side with the little cliff or whatever, the little edge. And you're going to want to gently just go up and down it like this, like up 
and down. Up and down. And you're going to want to repeat that like about uh, 10 times so you can just get everything off of it. Then you wanna go, you're going to want to go to the other side and do the same thing about 10 times. And then you're going to want to do this last very thin side with the eraser. Do this about 10 times as well. Okay, so I finished with the pink eraser. Now this usually works on most games that are just like, it's giving you the gray screen and the light is beeping all the time. But, um, yeah, but it usually doesn't work on games that crash or just won't work. But I'm going to see if this actually fixes my Mario 3 copy that does not work. So unfortunately this game is still broken. I've used this method on many other games. Um, and it's fixed the games that I've gotten gray screens on and the red light is beeping on the NES. This little red light it beeps and then you see a gray screen. But unfortunately this game probably will never ever work again. But this method is safe to use and um, it fixes your games so I'd recommend that you go and try to use this method because it's an amazing method and it makes lots of my other broken games work so I hope you guys enjoyed this short little cleaning video I'll be making a part two on how to erase like writing from your NES games like when people draw on their games or write their name on it which is annoying so I'll teach you how to get rid of those very very soonly um, this method that I showed you is safe it works on almost every single game um, that has a, at least a gray screen and the red light is beeping. And it works in some games that you might think are broken. Just give it a try. This is completely safe to use on your games. It will not disappoint you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thank you guys for watching this amazing video. Please check out my Twitter. The link will be in the description. Please check out my Instagram. The link will be in the description. Please check out my Twitch. The link will be in the description. And remember, I am the NES Ninja. And I will see you guys next time.